Hello and welcome to this third lecture on experimenting with software defined radio. In this lecture, we will look at an RTL SDR and how it can be converted into an FM radio receiver using GNU radio software. I have a couple of RTL SDRs here. This is a cheaper variety available in some of the online websites and the other one and the other one is this is rtlsdr.com version 3 so this has better capabilities better bandwidth and uh, tuning capabilities let's straight away start new radio and experiment with it so i've started up new radio set the options window and uh, sample rate variable so we need to interface the rtlsdr dongle to GNU radio. For that, there is a GNU radio block. You search for RTL uh, SDR in the search window. Then you will find this particular block. Uh, alternately, you can use Osmocom source also. That also supports RTL SDR. So let us experiment further. An inside view of your RTL SDR dongle will be like this. Inside the dongle, there are two important integrated circuits. The first one is a Rafael Micro R820T uh, digital tuner. Second one is a demodulator from Realtek RTL A232. As I told you, there are two integrated circuits. The first one is a front end uh, Rafael Micro A20T. So this is this particular uh, block on my left side indicates that your external antenna connects to this chip. There is uh, some kind of RF filtering in the front, uh, front end. This incoming signal is mixed with a local oscillator, which can be varied from 24 megahertz to 1.7 megahertz. So this produces an intermediate frequency of 3.57 megahertz. There is an IF filter and then again it provides a variable gain amplifier and uh, the down converted signal is provided here. So the essentially the Rafael microchip is a tuner which can tune anywhere from 24 megahertz to 1.5 gigahertz. Uh, approximately the bandwidth is 1.8 gigahertz. I will come to that later. So this signal is fed to an ADC. Essentially this has been down converted to a lower frequency. This ADC samples that signal at particular sampling rate. The sampling rate is 28.38. Uh, megahertz. There's a, there's a crystal oscillator. The ADC works on this particular sampling rate. We generate I and Q. The quadrature signal I and Q are then down converted to a lower sampling rate. The I and Q are sent to uh, sent via USB to your computer. So I will I will try to explain the working of the dongle in detail so that you will have a better idea about. Why, what, what kind of digital processing we should do inside new radio. So let us first look at the electromagnetic spectrum. So electromagnetic spectrum starts from zero frequency to and extends up to infinite frequencies. Your radio spectrum is somewhere near the lower end of the spectrum. Let us look at the spectrum of electromagnetic waves here. I have represented it in a nonlinear scale here. Radio signals are from zero heads to say maybe some 10 gigahertz or 100 gigahertz you have your radio spectrum inside that radio spectrum your rtl sdr can listen to a very small range 24 megahertz to 1.8 gigahertz so this picture shows that small range so that green window is where your rtl dongle can listen to it's a very small range compared to the entire electromagnetic spectrum. Now let us look at your FM band. Commercial FM band is between 88 megahertz to 108 megahertz. There are several stations broadcasting in this particular area. Out of this, so, uh, so the 10, there is a, the band, FM band spreads around 10 megahertz. Your RTL SDR can listen to a small spectrum of frequencies within the tuning range. I have already mentioned that the tuning range is between 24 megahertz and 1.8 gigahertz. Inside this area, so this is a big, big area around, uh, around 1.7 gigahertz. This particular tunable area is around 1.8 gigahertz. Or within the tunable spectrum, your RTL SDR can at a time listen to small range of frequencies. For example, 
If you tune your RTLSDR to 100 megahertz, it will listen from 100 to say 102 megahertz. This particular 2 megahertz uh, range I have arbitrarily put, it will be something different uh, in your an actual system. So assume that your uh, RTLSDR can bring in 2 megahertz of uh, signals between say 100 to 102. In practice, your SDR will tune to some center frequency. Around that center frequency, some signals will be brought in. Assume that you have tuned your SDR to 100 megahertz and signals from 100 to 102 megahertz are being brought in by the RTL dongle inside the computer. This 2 megahertz of signals will contain several stations. Channel spacing of commercial FM broadcast band is 200 kilohertz. It means that if you have a station at 100 megahertz, the next station will be at 100.2 megahertz and the succeeding station will be at 100.4 megahertz and so on. Out of this 200 kilohertz, only 100 kilohertz contains your useful signal. The remaining 100 is some buffer area to avoid adjacent channel interference. This 100 kilohertz contains your station signal if you are tuned to 100 megahertz. So let us examine what is inside this 100 kilohertz. The FM baseband spectrum is designed like this. From 0 to say 15 kilohertz, you have your mono channel. And here you will have a pilot signal. Then you have your stereo information here. We have These days you have stereo FM channels. So information rela relating to that is here. And you have this radio data service, 57 kilohertz uh, sub channel. See, there are 67 uh, sub-channel and 92 uh, kilohertz sub-channels. So all these things are within your 100 kilohertz span. Assume that you tuned 100 megahertz. As I told you, 100 to 102 megahertz is being received by the RTLSDR. Now, the problem is that you can tune this to any place between 24 megahertz to uh, 1.8 gigahertz. If you want to, uh, digitally sample and process the information you cannot do it directly on this the spectrum because you need a higher sampling rate if you want to want to sample at 100 megahertz you need a 200 megahertz sampling rate twice the frequency so it is not it, it is not practically feasible so therefore what we do is we will down convert the signal received by the RTLSDR to baseband between 0 to 2 megahertz. Whatever frequency you are tuning to at the front end, the signals received will be converted down to 0 to 2 megahertz. Once you have down converted the signal, you can sample this particular 0 to 2 megahertz signal to digital sequences. You can sample the signal. Uh, sampling rate, higher sampling rate, you can sample that. The RTLSDR generates quadrature signals. It means that incoming signal, the incoming signal will be, be mixed with a sine wave and a cosine wave. And these two will be filtered out and down sampled to a rate which can be, be sent over to uh, via our USB connection our usb has also some speed limitation so you cannot so you cannot send so many samples via usb therefore the rtlsdr will down sample it to say some uh, 2 mega 2 mega samples per uh, second or something like that hmm. people have experimented with what are the maximum possible sampling rate available so approximately 3.2 mega samples per second you can get in from RTLSDR dongle. But the safe bet will be 2.8 uh, mega samples per second. In a nutshell, whatever signal you are tuning at the front end of the RTL, you will down convert that to a lower frequency to the baseband and then will sample it, convert it into I and Q and then resample it or down sample it and finally this down sampled digital sequences of numbers will be sent over via USB to your host computer. There you can process it. 
So in fact, your RTL SDR source inside your GNU radio will be an interface to the signals received via USB. In the previous slides, I have deliberately made some arrays regarding the frequency ranges to make you understand the process. If you look at this particular slide, you will understand what frequencies the RTL dong dongle actually uses. So here you have the antenna receiving uh, signals. So that will be amplified and filtered here. There will be local oscillator which will be mixing the incoming signal to 3.57 megahertz intermediate frequency. It will be again filtered and this will be sent to an ADC. This ADC is sam will sample your signal at 28.8 megahertz and then it will be mixed with two digital signals a cosine wave and sine wave which are out of phase by 90 degree and then there will be a filter and further filtering finally there will be some sampling here so from inside your computer you can send signals to tune this particular Raphael micro chip you can tune this from anywhere between 0 I mean 24 megahertz and 1.8 gigahertz you will be essentially controlling this particular local oscillator this particular digital demodulator chip you can control the, the rate at which signals are down sampled or uh, received into the USB stream. Let us come back to our GNU radio. I have I've shown that there is an RTL SDR source block inside GNU radio. This particular block will be an interface to our uh, dongle. So this will be capable of receiving the I and Q signals from our dongle. You can set the channel frequency or tuning frequency here in the, this block. This will in turn control the dongle uh, so that it tunes to the desired frequency. You can also set the sampling rate also, the rate at which the, uh, the samples, I and Q samples are received. Now let us see how we develop an FM receiver from this. So since the sampling rate is 2 megahertz, we, we are going to receive signals at I and Q signals at 2 megahertz rate. Our signal, this I and Q signal will contain all stations between 100 and 102 megahertz, assuming that we have tuned to 100 megahertz. We need only one station, not the all stations. The, the incoming signal or the incoming I and Q contains all the uh, information regarding all stations between 100 and 102 assuming that we are we are, we are tuned at 100 megahertz uh, we need to filter out uh, the 100 kilohertz i had already mentioned that the channel uh, width is only 100 kilohertz for a station even you can even reduce that if you are receiving mono you need only some uh, 20 kilohertz or 15 kilohertz first 15 kilohertz of the the signal so we we need not process all, all the unknown unwanted stations so what we will do is we will filter it out a low pass filter will do the job so then then there is one problem see we are getting signals at two mega samples per second uh, our signal is actually only 100 kilohertz you don't need so many samples to process this signal you will be wasting your cpu if you process all the uh, samples available at two megahertz you can actually uh, resample the I and Q to a lower sampling rate. See, the, our actual station is only within 100 kilohertz. A 200 kilohertz sampling rate will be fine. I think I will I'll, I'll set the resampling rate to 500 kilohertz. So let us do that. So we will use a, a GNU radio block called Rational Resampler to reduce the sampling rate you will send the signal to a low pass filter. Let's see what happens then. From the low pass filter, we will send the uh, I and Q signals to an FM demodulator. This demodulator will be operating at 500 kilohertz because uh, we, we our sampling rate here is 500 kilohertz right now. The, see, this will decode the FM and uh, and give you another sequence containing the uh, particular data. Then there is another problem now. Your audio system inside the PC is designed at 
48 kilohertz sampling rate. So it can accept uh, digital samples at 48 kilohertz and convert that samples to actual voice to, so, which can drive the speaker. So here, uh, here again you see the issue A demodulated signal is at 500 kilohertz and you need to uh, send uh, resample it again to 48 kilohertz. So again we will bring in one more resampler. We will resample the system to 48 kilohertz. So this is the overall system that we are going to develop. Now we will convert these ideas into a flow graph and build our first radio. So let us uh, begin uh, building our FM radio. So first of all uh, I will start a new uh, GNU radio flow graph. Set the options and variables things to uh, reflect the names and uh, other parameters. Uh, my name, uh, my ID etc. and sampling days right to 2 megahertz. Now I will look for an RTLSDR source inside uh, uh, the blocks. Yeah, from inside uh, the this one from the blocks menu, I have brought in an RTL SDR source here. Uh, you will set sampling rate at sample rate the uh, the one uh, the rate you set for your sampling rate uh, variable. Next, you will set the channel frequency. You can look around uh, the various parameters here documentation, advance, etc. I am setting the tuning frequency to local station here. The 101.9 is a local uh, AIR station here. I have set the values as shown in this picture. Mainly uh, the frequencies and sampling rate I have set. The, uh, the other values you can leave as it is. Next thing you need is a resampler. From your blocks, blocks window I am going to bring in a rational resampler and set the value in the rational resampler there are two values you can set one is an interpolation other one is a decimation you will we will leave uh, the interpolation as it is I will set the decimation to a value of 4 so so that 2 megahertz sampling rate from uh, the RTL source will be decimated by 4 so that uh, the new uh, sa the samples from the rational resampler will be at the rate of 500 kilohertz. We are going to bring in the next block. I need to filter out the unwanted frequencies now. As I mentioned earlier your signal is only 100 kilohertz wide. I will search for a re um, low pass filter in the um, blocks menu and from there I will bring in this particular low pass filter. I will set the values, uh, there are two values you can say, you have to set, one is a cutoff frequency and the other one is transition width. So your cutoff frequency should be 100 kilohertz since uh, we are uh, filtering out everything above that. Hmm? And you can set your uh, transition width to some say maybe 20, 20 kilohertz or uh, 30 kilohertz etc. Hmm? So I think I have set it to I set 20 kilohertz. So join the these two blocks. You need to search for an FM demodulator and bring it bring it into the flow graph. Let's do that. WB FM receive is a wideband FM receiver. It's a, it's a demodulator. And you the quadrature rate. You have, you have to set only one parameter here. That is the uh, quadrature rate. That that we will set to 500 kilohertz. See audio decimation. I have set to 10. So as I mentioned earlier, you uh, your your audio system operates at 48 kilohertz. Uh, FM receiver block itself you can decimate by 10. The audio audio signals you can divide by the sampling rate by 10. So that out of your FM demodulator you will get 500 by 10. That is uh, you will be dividing the sampling rate by 10. So that here at the output of the FM receiver you will get a sequence at the rate of 50 kilohertz. You need to convert that to 48 kilohertz so that you can the you can drive the audio sync. So for that 
you will use another rational resampler. We will set the parameters now. So interpolation we will put at 48. And decimation we will put, put at 50. Okay. So, so you have an incoming signal of 50 kilohertz. You will interpolate it by 48 and then decimate it by 50. So that after uh, this operation, your new sampling rate will be at 48 kilohertz. The, essentially, this means that you are converting the sampling rate to 48 kilohertz. Okay. Now, you can run this one. Let's improve our radio a little bit more. We will add two things. One is a slider with which you can control the frequency. The second thing is a spectrogram or waterfall display blocks here. First thing we will look for a water a waterfall sink. So we will see the waterfall diagram. How does it look like? When you run the radio, you will get a waterfall. Let's add a GUI range widget and control the frequency. GUI range here. We will put the uh, ideas frequency, frequency here, and the starting value is at 101.9, and the uh, range also we will fix 88 megahertz to uh, maybe 108 megahertz. We will apply and press OK. Now you need to change the frequency parameter here. On the RTL source. So instead of the, the fixed frequency, we will put that frequency range widget. Now let us run it again. So let us summarize this lecture. What we have done is this. We captured signals from RTLSDR source I and Q signals sampled at 2 megahertz. Since uh, our processor will be overburdened with load of samples, we decided to resample it to 500 kilohertz before sending to a low pass filter. A low pass filter filtered out all the unwanted stations. The station that we are looking at alone is sent to the demodulator. The demodulator demodulates FM information so your music or your speech or your news is captured and again here again the demodulator is now at 500 kilohertz we will decimate it by 10 so that these the signal sequence the output sequence from the this will be at 50 kilohertz but still we need to convert this 50 kilohertz sequence to 48 kilohertz we will use another resampler that's why you have a rational resampler and will be then this will be sent to your audio sync. You can add uh, say things like uh, waterfall display or range display or whatever you want, whatever additional things you want and do, uh, to this particular chain. This flow graph is compiled into a python program and this python program can be deployed or into a, a FPG hardware. Okay, in the next lecture I will try to explain hackerophone, how we transmit signals using hackerophone. Thank you.